Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a pretty decently sized thrift haul. I feel like I've been finding, well actually this week I went thrifting twice and I felt like I found some pretty good stuff so I didn't feel the need to go a whole lot. I'm gonna be really honest, I've been going thrifting a ton lately and I've just been trying to check myself like, okay, do I really need to go thrifting because I need to have new clothes to list or am I just going to fill up my time? And if I'm just going to fill up my time, I think of all the things that I need to do around my house that need to get done and I just stayed at home. So this week I didn't really end up going a whole lot. I just, I need to like clean. We need to plan our wedding and honeymoon a little bit better. So I tried not to go too much. And the few times that I went, I was really grateful because I spent like an hour at one thrift store, 30 minutes at another thrift store, and I found a lot of really good stuff. You know, sometimes I go and I find nothing, so it's very, very hit or miss for me. Yeah, I found a lot of really fun stuff to sell. Oh, Cosmo is making an appearance. I'm not really like particular with the seasons when I thrift, like, yeah, maybe I'm not going through the denim as much right now, but if I find good denim, then I will buy it. So it's not like I'm looking for a specific season at the moment. I also ordered something off Poshmark that I'll share with you all. And uh, let's get on with the video. As always, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe. It helps my videos out so much. And if you all don't know me, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark Mercari. And I feel like I can add this in now, but I also sell on eBay. I've been making more and more sales on eBay. And one thing I'm just gonna say real fast about eBay that I'm really enjoying is how fast you get paid. It's so great. Like the payout is immediate and I so appreciate that instead of waiting, like especially on Mercari, you have to wait so long. So I started selling on eBay when things were slowing down on Poshmark and I'm really digging it. I feel like I get a lot of uh, higher ticket sales on there. All right, anyway, without further ado, let's get started. So I've been stocking these shoes for so long now. They're a pair of Freebird Caprice sandals. And uh, I was actually looking for these in like a nudish white color because I'm going to Nashville for my bachelorette party in July. And I feel like these would be so cute. I hear that July in Nashville is like scorching hot. So I didn't really want cowboy boots. I felt like these were like, you know, I don't know. I don't really know if these are the vibe or not. I honestly just kind of need an excuse to buy them. But I got a really good offer from a seller on Poshmark on these. They're new in box. I don't think she ever wore them. And the reason why I'm showing these two though is because they're a Bolo brand. So if you ever come across Freebird, they're definitely worth picking up and even paying up for. So keep your eye out for Freebird there by Steve Madden. Okay, I never, almost never do retail arbitrage. If you've been watching me for a while, I used to do retail arbitrage a little bit more back in the day, but for me, it's just not as fun and the risk is really high because you never know if there's another like TJ Maxx or Marshalls down the street that has like a hundred of that item and now the market's gonna be saturated. However, I came across this dress at Nordstrom Rack and I really loved it. I think it's so gorgeous. It's from Reformation, which has been picking up for me lately. I feel like uh, I had like a little bit of a slow period with Reformation, but I just sold a Reformation romper today. But anyway, um, this is the butterfly dress in cherry red. It's so stunning. I went during the clear the rack sale and I went on the first day. Normally I never ever find anything at Nordstrom Rack worth reselling. But this one is actually um, 83.40 and it was 25% off on top of that. So I paid like close to $70 for this and it's still reselling on Poshmark for like $270, which is pretty nuts. So I got this listed. I had a bit listed for 270. I'm hoping I can make a big profit on it and we shall see. I don't know. I would love to do like what are they called liquidation boxes but i'm just too scared and like way too risk averse to try that and plus for me part of the appeal of reselling is going to the thrift store and like the thrill of the hunt that's why i haven't dabbled too much in that yet but like if something were to ever happen and i was put in a situation where maybe i was a full-time reseller then maybe i would try it all right, anyway, moving on. So I went to a new thrift store to me. It's not new, but it's new to me. And I was only there for 30 minutes and I found some really good stuff in just 30 minutes. So I found these Topshop corduroy jeans. I paid $4.89 for them and they're new with tags. And they are a four petite, 
but I did sell a pair of petite Topshop pants in a size 4 recently, or maybe they're like a 28. Close enough. They were a size 28 petite and they sold in like a day, so I'm hoping that these will sell fast. It's more of a fall style and pants are selling really slow for me right now, so I'm not, I don't have like high hopes, but for 4 dollars I thought that was a great deal. This was super exciting because I've only ever found this brand, I think one other time at the bins, but it's for Love and Lemons. And this brand I'm obsessed with, but it's very, very expensive. Wait, well, that's not true actually. I found a new tags dress by them from Goodwill recently. Anyway, not the point. So this is a gorgeous halter body suit with a totally open back. This was only $4.99 and I found it on a very random rack. Um, I found this on a swimsuit rack actually, but I don't think this is a swimsuit. I could be wrong. It says for love and lemon skivvies. I have no idea what that is, but it's a size small and it definitely needs a pill shave, but I think a pill shave will fix her right up. So that is kind of what the damage looks like, but I think that I can fix that. Um, I just use like the Conair pill shaver for stuff like that. But yeah, keep your eye out for love and lemons. Very, very high average selling price for that brand. Okay, last but not least, this was a new to me bolo brand, but uh, I've seen people talk about this before and the brand is Agua Bendita and they sell this on Free People, Revolve, fancy places like that. And this swimsuit is adorable. <laughs> I paid $3.99 for both pieces. So the bottom just looks like that. And then the top is adorable. I love this. It's like a, I think you can wear it off the shoulder maybe, but it's like a little crop top, tankini situation. And this is a size medium. Some, I'm not saying that this swimsuit will sell for this much, but like some of their swimsuits were seriously selling for like $140, $200. I think this one might sell more in like the $70, $80 range because I think this is a little bit of an older style. I'm definitely gonna research it more before I list it, but keep your eye out for this brand because holy cow, when I looked up the comps, I was shocked. All right, then the first thrift store I went to for this week was my good old favorite Goodwill. I found the Sunday Best kimono. Great for a beach cover up, it's just this little yellow piece, but this was only like $3.99, so I decided to pick it up. This is Aritzia's in-house brand and it does very well for me. If you saw my recent hauls, you know I sold those dresses by them in like two minutes. Not actually, it took like a couple of days, but still really fast. I found this dress from Babaton, which is another Aritzia in-house brand. This is a size eight, and I think this is a pretty interesting style. I don't think it's like recent because I have not seen this there, and I, I don't know, I, I just haven't seen this style of dress there. But I'm hoping to get it listed for like, I don't know, 60 to $80. I've done zero research, but I feel like that's kind of the going range for Babaton. And this was $7.99, but this is just such a cute everyday dress. It's belted. If you find Aritzia, definitely research it. Some of the older pieces don't sell for a whole lot, but I think this one will be a winner. Next up, this is a totally new to me brand as well. This is called Icebreaker. And it's like an outdoor brand. They have uh, like sweaters and mitts and things like that. This is a size extra large and it's just this navy cardigan. I actually found another uh, like quarter zip by Icebreaker that I was going to buy. And luckily, um, as I was taking my cart picture to like post on Instagram, I flipped the sweater around and it was just covered in holes. So if you ever come across this brand, make sure you like check it out very closely. But this was $6.99 and the comps for it were looking like they were $60 to $70. So I'm not sure. I really don't know too much about this brand if I'm being honest. I saw Mogi Beth talk about it once in a video though and I was just like, wait a second. I think that's worth something. So I grabbed it. Found a pair of mother jeans, which I love. 
This is not selling for me at all right now. I've recently found some other jeans, but it's just not the season. But come fall, this happened to me last year. I found a bunch of mother jeans in the summer. They sat around all summer. And then like the second fall hit, I sold through all of them. So I'm still buying them. This is called the Undone Hem Looker Ankle. And this was $7.99. It's a size 27, which is funny. I feel like I always find mother in a size 27 got some distressing and mother usually sells for me anywhere from 80 to like a hundred dollars so I'm always excited to find this because during the right season it can be a fast flip but even in the summertime I will not say no next I could not find comps on this anywhere the Poshmark algorithm is still all kinds of messed up for me so I just decided to go with my gut and pick this up but it's a Maywell size medium blue crew neck and it's so freaking soft like the inside is like this really soft brushed fleece and i bought this for how much did i buy you for 4.99 so yeah i was like okay that's a really good deal and it's one of those things where if it doesn't sell i'll be happy to keep it which is funny because i say that and i never like wear my inventory like i know some people enjoy wearing their inventory i don't it makes me really nervous because i feel like i'm gonna spill something on it and totally ruin it getting to the end here this is the last thing that i got and this was for myself because my dogs chewed up my denim jacket a few years ago and i've just been wearing it and i've had that denim jacket since high school and i'm 28 now uh, it had like a giant hole in the elbow and in the hem and i've still been wearing it so i'm just gonna get rid of that one and i'm gonna start wearing this one this is from h m nothing special but I've been looking for a denim jacket that has like this raw hem at the bottom. I just think it makes it a little bit more like casual, current, cute. I don't know. This is $10, which for a denim jacket isn't too bad. Like, I don't know. It was probably sold for like 30 or 40 bucks at H&M at the very most. But I just like the distressing on it. And plus it's secondhand. Denim is like probably one of like the top five worst things you could buy new just because of the chemical process it has to go through and how much water it takes to create a new denim piece. So I was happy to thrift that and replace my high school denim jacket. I also wanted to do best sale of the week because it's been a little while since I've done best sale of the week, but I wanted to give this um, best sale of the week to a viewer, her name's Kelly, and she has just been so consistent with commenting and interacting with my videos and, and like it really means the world to me and she bought something from me this week it was actually the hair crimper from the last videos the hot tools hair waver if you've ever bought anything from me or even if you haven't you just continue to watch and interact with my videos like it means so much to me and i just really really appreciate it so all right well that is everything i got this week i hope you all enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe and i will see you guys next time bye